Hello, welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Today we'll be talking about making an analog input read. So for this particular experiment or showcase, let me go ahead and increase this picture. So we will change voltage values. So essentially we will use the lab jack to generate the voltage and we will read the value of the voltage using our analog input um, in, input channel. So we are using the analog input number zero. We are using the digital analog converter number zero to generate the voltage value and we will be reading it with this channel. Make sense? Okay, let me show you what we have here so right now i am you know sending in a two volts to this particular channel and the analog input is ready in. so it's quite close you know 1.99 and if i change this to zero you see it's showing it and if i change it maybe to three then it will start showing 2.99 and if you also go to the dashboard on this cap line you could see the same thing here right here so whenever the the channel the channels are floating it shows all these some random values like flo floating number value in the negative but this is actually a true number so let's go back to the Registrar. So how do we do this, right? So let's go ahead and delete this and go back to and disconnect it. So typically, when you open up the lab jack and Kepler tool, uh, you want to connect your lab jack device to the computer, then hit USB to connect. Now you are connected. Um, typically, you could go to your dashboard to see what's going on. And right now we are still generating the three balls and you could go this is my favorite place to go to go into the registry channel so typically when you are looking to do something um, you I usually go to the filter tag so now what I want to do is generate some kind of voltage right so I will go to analog output and over here I could select my analog output so right now you if i extend it i could see my options so i have up to two analog output to use so i will select the first one and right now it's at three volts like we saw initially so now i want to read that voltage right so i'll go ahead and select analog input so if i click out uh, actually let me deselect uh, analog output and just select analog input only so now i can drop down here and if you look at this you could see all the capability and wait there is still more so we have a lot of analog input channels i believe we have up to 84 including the extended features but uh, you don't need to worry about that all we need to worry about is what we have right now built in which is this guy so we have about one two three four uh, four built in so then if you extend the features then you have up to 84 channels i'll have to check on that so easy enough right so let's go back to our kepler tool so this kepler tool actually comes with um, labjack provides this software to use for you know testing purposes easy easy testing purposes so okay so all you want to do is select which are we already selected and let's go ahead and check what we are working with so we have the analog input and we can change the voltage level that we want to we want that channel to produce and voila we can read it with our um, analog input zero um, sounds good enough so now let me go ahead and you might not see this but if i go ahead and disconnect it 
it will stop reading it so now it's back to um, the floating point now if you go to the um, to, to the dashboard is showing all the floating numbers which is negative 10 if I go back to the register it's showing all the floating number which is negative 10 so you you have to kind of watch and make sure that you know you are not reading the floating number thinking that you are reading a, a true value so I'm connecting it back so now I connected it back and everything looks amazing all right, and that's uh, essentially how to read it with this Kaplan tool. The next video, I will show you how you could use a C sharp program to read these values. Until then, I will talk to you later.